It is an event the city of Virginia Beach spent months preparing for. Thousands of young people converging on the oceanfront. College Beach Weekend has come and gone, but not without its share of violence. Tonight, the aftermath, the assessment, and the cost of trying to keep the calm on the strip. Good evening. The crowds were smaller, but the problems were just as big as we've seen with 2018's version of College Beach Weekend. Depending on who you ask and what you're asking about, either the weekend was a big success or a big problem. Things took an ugly turn Saturday night with a pair of shootings right on Atlantic Avenue. Despite an increased police presence, shots were fired, people were hit and hundreds were forced to run for their lives down the strip and out of danger. In all, three shootings over the weekend. One Friday on 19th Street near the convention center, then the two on Saturday right along Atlantic. Many are placing the blame on business owners who decided to close Saturday night. And we have two reports on the assessment of College Beach Weekend. Ten on your side, Joe Fisher talked with people who were there over the weekend and have mixed reviews. But first, Jason Marks with what the mayor is saying about how things were handled this weekend. Jason. And guys, that first shooting Saturday night happened right over there on the boardwalk here at 20th. And then we heard more gunfire about 100 yards from us. It was quiet most of the night, but that's when chaos broke out. I think we were ready. For the last year, city officials and the oceanfront community worked on a plan to cut down on violence during College Beach weekend. It almost worked. I was angry. I was frustrated because, you know, I had actually gone to bed, get up, and then there is, you know, one of the victims collapsed in front of our home. And it, it's, it's so hard because when I went to bed, I was like, you know what, we got it right. Oceanfront resident Ginger Caps went to bed thinking this year was different. She woke up to the sound of gunfire. It's like you hit that 1130 time frame and it's like there's a, a switch that flips. Virginia Beach police had Atlantic Avenue cleared early. They had the traffic flowing the way they wanted and had officers on every corner. Yet the sound of gunfire overshadowed the weekend. To me, it's a shame that, those, that the thugs, I'll refer to them as thugs, come into town to really screw up something that was going extremely well. Saturday night, there was a shooting on 20th Street. A woman shot in the neck. An hour later, a double shooting on 19th Street. And the mayor says overall the weekend was still a success. Overall, the majority of the young people there were there to have fun and not to cause problems. It seems like this Virginia Beach officials and residents were trying to avoid. They will now have another year to work on making that happen. There was a lot of positive, but that cannot overcome the fact that some people got shot. And we are still waiting the final arrest numbers from the weekend. I can tell you as of Sunday morning, police had arrested 43 people compared to 30 last year. We're live at the oceanfront. Jason Marks, 10 on your side. More details now on the arrest made this weekend. One man has been arrested for the first shooting Friday night. 22-year-old Marcus Elliott Jr. from Alexandria faces malicious wounding for the shooting on 19th Street and Parks Avenue. Police say that shooting began as a road rage incident. And as Jason said so far, 43 arrests were made that we know of. Beach police are still working on that final number. Last year, 30. And in 2016, on College Beach weekend, 65. Continuing our team coverage now, we're going to switch to 10 on your side's Joe Fisher. Okay, Joe, you've been at the beach all day, and I know that you've been hearing some mixed reaction to how things went this past weekend. Well, Tom Anita, those people who have been down here year after year working inside the bar say this was the most tame and the most organized College Beach weekend to date. But if you ask those people caught in the middle of Saturday's chaos, they'll tell you they're probably not coming back. It's what you don't see on the beach. I am actually shocked. It's amazing. That has bartender Beth Evans giving high marks to this year's College Beach weekend. I've rode the ocean front three times this morning, and I honestly haven't seen any trash. Johnny Manana's, unlike some bars, stayed open. You know, there were some great kids out there. Yet manager John Belote closed by 10 o'clock Saturday night as the crowd started to build on the boardwalk. Came to the realization that if, you know, they did decide to all come up here at once, there's nothing I could do to, to really protect myself and my staff. Turns out it was just in time. Saturday, Saturday was a bad night. 
Saturday was a lot of, you know, tr drama. And Tydria Wallace and her cousin, both visiting from Maryland, ran for cover around midnight after the sound of gunshots at Long Atlantic Avenue. I was just like, in my head, <laughs> my straight, and I looked. And she wasn't beside me, so I was like, where is my little cousin? Everybody screaming, yelling, running, pushing. Police say three people were shot in two shootings within an hour. It's enough to keep these girls who went running to their hotel rooms from coming next year. I'm not used to stuff like that. I'm from the country. If we shoot, we shooting at deers. Like, we're not shooting at people. I'm like, what's going on? Somebody's shooting. Oh, God. With no events for the students, Evan says she expected something to happen. Still, she's praising the city's response from the police presence to traffic and litter control and just hoping the progress continues next year. I think that every year it's been getting better. Um, the crowd's been getting better. I And the Visions Oceanfront Task Force, which was created last year to really improve College Beach Weekend, uh, says things went overall pretty well. But aside from those uh, few incidents that we mentioned, the leader of that group did express some disappointment with the lack of things to do for the students. Tom and Anita, they're going to debrief next month. They're going to give some suggestions to the city council. And we do expect that after uh, after this weekend, there will be some kind of after action report uh, to the city manager. We'll keep you posted. We're live at the oceanfront tonight. I'm Joe Fisher. 10 on your side. All right, Joe, we'll look forward to those updates. The bottom line is still being tallied on College Beach Week, and as he said, for sure, we know the city spent around $10,000 on pamphlets sent to the residents. Uh, the big bill will be for the overtime associated with police trying to keep things calm at the oceanfront, and it likely won't be known how much business is lost in revenue for closing early or not opening at all on Saturday. That call, some say, was made for the sake of safety of employees and regular customers. We have much.